are service-minded and present excellent personal character. SNHS was founded in Wontaw in 2014 with the following objectives. To encourage and recognize scientific and intellectual thought, to advance students' knowledge of classical and modern science, to communicate with the scientific community, to aid the civic community with its comprehension of science, and to encourage students to participate in community service and, in turn, encourage a dedication to the pursuit of scientific knowledge that benefits all of mankind. The motto inscribed in Latin on the Science National Honor Society shield translates a quote from the Latin scholar Virgil. Fortune, fortunate is one who understands the causes of things. It is indeed fortunate to have students like these here today who are willing to share their understanding of the causes of things with other students and community members. I would now like to ask our treasurer, Seth Brom, to come to the podium for his keynote speech. National Honor Society induction ceremony. I would like to thank Ms. Gordon for this opportunity, Chris, Skyla, and Julianne for letting me take this opportunity, and the administration for <coughs> having this ceremony this year back in person after a hectic past three years. And most importantly, you, the newest member of the Science National Honor Society. It is an honor to speak in front of you, the next generation of scientific scholars at Wanda High School. For those of you who don't know me, I am a senior at Wanda High School, an active board member of the National Honor Society and the treasurer of the Science National Honor Society, and the former captain of the Walter Bowling Team. I will be attending Warren Technological University in Southfield, Michigan, this fall, major in mechanical engineering at Bowling 13. At first, I wasn't sure if I should be giving this speech. I didn't even start out as a science honor student. I had to work and earn my place here, not just the place, but the respect. I always regarded myself as a top-level student. School would always come easy to me, so success at school became a requirement for me, even though the amount of work I had to put in was minimal. This became my biggest issue. I walked into sixth grade thinking it would be a cakewalk, but it wasn't. I was not ready for the quantity nor the quality of the work that was presented in front of me. I went the entire year without studying, and I came out okay. I was never failing any classes, but I also wasn't fantastic at any of them either. Still, at the end of the year, I was set on being placed into both available honors classes for seventh grade. All my friends were going to be in those classes. Unfortunately, I only made it to math honors that year, not science. I was devastated. It had to have been the worst moment of my academic career. I struggled through my seventh grade science class because every day I would go into a class where I felt like I didn't belong. Thankfully, I had math honors later that day and I was challenged in a way I so desperately needed. As Science National Honor Society members, you all understand that you need to be intellectually challenged in the science classroom. And like me, you will thrive next to that challenge. At that point, I knew I needed to work towards making it to Earth Science Honors that year. It wasn't easy. I needed to maintain a 95 average in science for the year. I was at maybe a 93, 94 going to the second half of the year, and something had to change. I began to change my study tactics by making study guides and forcing my family to quiz me on them. It worked. I finished the year with over 95 overall in the class, and even got myself an 89 in the final. Who knew studying would pay off, right? <laughs> so why am I telling you this? Life gets hard. Next year, most of you will be applying to college, and here, there will be curveballs each and every step along the way. The ways that have always worked for any of us might change, and our goal outlook can change. I didn't have study tactics developed in middle school, so I started out on the wrong foot. But I learned how to study and put in maximum effort, so I would become an honor student. I used that drive, motivation, and study skills to propel myself into a full honor student by the time I hit high school. I am pursuing a major in the scientific field, and I'm going to become a mechanical engineer, and I will use the study tactics I developed over the past six years to ensure my success. Now I want you to see yourselves where you want to be either later today, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, five years from now, even ten years from now, and think about what you have to do to get there. You've met every challenge thrown your way so far, so I have confidence that you'll continue to rise to the occasion. Congratulations on your induction to the Science Honor Society, and keep working hard. Thank you.
assembled here today have either met or exceeded these baseline qualifications. In addition, the scientific ability of these candidates have not only impressed their science teachers here at Wonka, but have earned them accolades at competitions such as Science Olympiad, Ruth Goldberg, Envirothon, Long Island Science Congress, and many other scientific institutions.
the Science National Honor Society. I would like to thank the following people, without whom this ceremony would not have been possible. The Wanta High School Board of Education, Superintendent Mr. John McNamara, Assistant Superintendent Dr. Mark Ferris, Assistant Superintendent Mr. Anthony Cedrone, High School Principal Dr. Paul Gazone, High School Assistant Principal Mr. Nick Pappas, Director of Student Services Dr. Christopher Whitman, Director of STEM Ms. Carol, Ms. Carol Ann Winans, the faculty members of the Wanta High School Science Department. And just to ad lib a little bit, I'd like to express my personal gratitude to administration for always supporting the sciences and to the amazing faculty and staff of Wanta High School, specifically the science teachers, Mr. Colby is here, and obviously Ms. Horton, thank you for coming to the ceremony. The science department at Wanta is, um, they're amazing, and we're so lucky to have them. So, thank you, you guys. And thank you to you all. We appreciate this. Please help yourselves to the refreshments at the back of the room. Thank you. You're watching the Varsity Media Sports Network, the home for New York high school sports.